Hi, welcome to Sitam Church Online. This is the Anchored Man, and my name is Precious Cole. Always a joy to do this with my good friend, yes, the Anointed Man of God, Reverend Hallelujah. Father to One. Amen. Others are loading. Yes. Amen. Salivio what? Awesome. Hi guys. <laughs> are you groomed? God bless you. Asante, Amen. we've been having an amazing conversation on grooming. Yeah. And we've looked at grooming in a general sense. We've seen the need, you know, to work in our mind on our minds and on our hearts and to just and our help bodies ourselves and our bodies. To smell good and yeah. be clean. Just package yourselves Brush nicely. Your teeth. <laughs> Buy some cologne. Yeah. You know, treat people nicely. Buy new boxers. <laughs> Watch the ones that are there. Invest. <laughs> amazing. And today I want us to to have a discussion about how we can groom and package ourselves in relation to our vision, you know, and our purpose in this life. And, 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 and as anchored men, we believe that for all of us, there's an assignment of God. Yes, it there's is. a deposit of God in us. Amen. And it matters it how we package ourselves. It mm. matters who we are linking up with. It matters the amount of work we are putting in, Amen. you know, to just work and present ourselves in a manner that's fitting yes. for the place that we desire God to take us. And Amen. I want to bring in Ref Kim into this discussion yes. and to just help us to know and to see why mm. is it important mm. that as young men we take a step of grooming and working on our purpose and packaging ourselves mm. in a way that's relevant mm. to the assignment of God in our lives. Amen. Yes. Now, each one of us has a vision. Yes. The vision is a broader, bigger mm. picture. Yeah, yeah. But the mission, the purpose, mm. is now the specific kind of assignment, the yes. how-to. Uh -huh. For example, if we were to use the vision of CITAM, mm. a community of believers mm. impacting the world. Yeah. Like now what we are doing with CCO, we are mm. impacting the world, the world with yeah. the gospel of our Lord yeah. and Savior, Savior Jesus Christ yes. through the transformation transforming power okay. of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm. And then the mission then comes mm. to know God and, and make to make him known, him known through, through evangelism, evangelism and, and discipleship. discipleship. Now, I have how. men, and I believe I'm speaking to anchored men, yes. who have yeah. a vision of being great. And you know now greatness, it's mm. so hard to measure greatness. Yes. I'm sure you want to be a great preacher. I want to be a great preacher. You know, yes. I also want to be a great preacher. Yes. But the question is how? Mm. How do we get there? The mm. purpose? Mm -hmm. What skills do I need? Mm. What do I need to groom in yeah. my life and work mm. on? And so one thing to help you groom your purpose and vision, mm. the first, the beginning point, mm. the basis is, yes. do you even know your vision? Ah. Do you even know your purpose? Mm -hmm. Do you even know your assignment? Mm -hmm. So it will begin from the place of seeking to know. Mm -hmm. And how do you seek to know? Look at your talents. Mm -hmm. Look at your God-given abilities. Look, look at your God-given gifts. For example, I already know you're an, or an orator. Mm -hmm. I, I already know you're a leader, naturally. Mm -hmm. For me, I look at the skills of leadership, you know, administration, oratory skills. They just come mm -hmm. out naturally. Mm -hmm. And now with that, work on that. Mm -hmm. Polish it up. So that now scripture, Proverbs 20, what? 22, 22 verse 29. 20, 29 says, mm. show me a man mm. who is skilled in what they do. Mm. They will not stand before obscure, mm. small men, yeah. but they will stand before kings. Mm. And it is your gift mm -hmm. that will make way mm. for you. Mm. Believe you me, we are in the anchored man. Not because we applied, mm. but our gifts mm. made way for us yes and i want to encourage an anchored man out there mm. begin by identifying your purpose your vision your mm. mission and after you know it mm. ask yourself what training what skills do i need yeah polish up those skills mm. work on them mm. and also allow yourself to be out there mm. so that men and women will notice you and see yeah. and then soon they will start making way for you mm, as you mm. stand before kings, wow, wow. as you stand before great men yes. who will even now support that vision greater mm. and tell you I was there 10 yes. years ago mm -hmm. and this is the route I took, mm. this is the course I took. Mm. And then voila, by the grace and the mercies of God, you know, miraculously, no, let me withdraw the voila. Voila sounds like magic. <laughs> you remember Rambo, Rambo, yeah. Bush. No, 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 no. These things are not magic. You don't uh, just wake up and become no, no, a millionaire, my work. friend. Yeah. It is hard work. Yes, yes, Over yes. to you, sir. Wow, amazing reflections that you are drawing for yes. us. And if I'm hearing you well, we must start by, first of all, identifying. Identify. And I want to believe that when you identify, yes. it now begins to... Reveal the Unfold. other steps that you That's follow. The point, the, the for steps. example, when I when I discover or see that for me there's a call of God in my life, yeah. then it informs who I relate with. Precisely. I want to believe. You it can't just go hang out exactly. with a doctor. So so <laughs> even I believe even our friendships, yes. our conversations, yes. our 
you networks, know, hobbies, networks, what we read, should really revolve around our vision and our purpose that's a point. in life. Wow, and that's amazing. Thank you so much for those reflections. Mm. Maybe if there's a young man out there who, mm. first of all, does not even know. Yes. How do you even begin to know? or to find out what this one thing that God wants me to do is. Okay. Any any practical way that yes. you can help yes. them to Number do, one, yeah? I mm. can propose you can do a personality test. Mm, wonderful. Secondly, mm. just search within yourself. Mm. There's something we call the gut. Yes. What yes. is that one thing precious you can do mm. without anybody telling you mm -hmm. or without payment. Yes. For example, mm. tell me to pray and preach. Mm. Whether I know the check Even or the at chart, midnight. I don't care. Yeah. Just tell me pray, I will pray. I will, yeah. You see, and now you have to ask yourself, why do I have an inclination towards to A, B, and C? Yeah. There mm. are people who will sit down with a computer and they will crack things mm. that nobody has taught them. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. people, maybe like the ones behind the cameras, mm. will hold that camera mm. and do some things. They just know the right settings. They just know the right settings. And they enjoy. The temperatures, yeah. they enjoy doing it. Yeah. And it naturally comes yeah. out of them. Mm. So that's one way to begin. Mm. And then, there is what we call the witness of others. What Wonderful. is it that people keep telling you? Yeah. Are they precious? Yeah. If you find it's... yourself in an engineering company, yeah. you're wasting time. You're wasting, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. just go pick a microphone yeah. and stay there. Yeah. And we wow. watch you burn with mm. passion. Amen. Because we, we see the passion naturally mm. coming yeah. out of you. So there is yeah. what we call the witness of others, mm. witness of siblings, witness of friends, mm. and those things that you find yourself in. Mm. And then, could it be a coincidence mm. or an accident that you're actually in that office or that job. Mm. God can also set you up. Mm. The degree you're taking, at times, knowingly or unknowingly, mm. God will lead us Wonderful. in this path. Wonderful. And so the words in Jeremiah come that if we find ourselves in a crossroad, mm. we are wondering, what do I do? What do I go next? Seek the Lord yeah. and he will you guide will you. will hear a voice Amen. telling you thank the way you. you should go. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And we thank you for taking time to listen through. Please share this video mm -hmm. and let us know what is in your mind, your heart. You have a comment, a question, mm -hmm. a feedback you want to give us. Please reach us through the numbers on your screen. Yes. And make sure you tune in to our next video as we bring this discussion to an end. Mm -hmm. And we hope that the Lord will bless you. Amen. Asante sana and have a good time.